Good morning, folks. Welcome back to, well, Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my folks, my dudes, my my people. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're uh, playing more Valheim today. We've got some more business in the swamp. We've got to grow more turnips, etc., etc. Uh, I think we're still planning on trying to move house to somewhere new, or at least picking a spot. So we might end up doing that. I think I was thinking I might need to find a better swamp to settle next to for that to be worth it, but we'll see. Either way, before we begin, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. I have a donation button below my stream for the, for the Tiltify campaign. I have an exclamation point donate command that will also take you to the, the link will take you to the Tiltify campaign. I have, my chatbot shares that link every 30 minutes for ease of access. And I also have a QR code that'll be up on the screen in the bottom left whenever, <clears throat> whenever, <laughs> words, brain, please work. Whenever the screen, the stream comes up. You can scan that with your phone or whatever, and that will take you also to the Tiltoy page. I don't get any sort of kickback or anything from raising money this way for, for the, the foundation or fund or whatever. So yeah, it's just a way for me to fundraise while I'm playing games that I enjoy and probably playing them very badly for your entertainment. Whether you're able to donate or not, I appreciate your support. Thank you. Okay. Let me get the game going. Uh, I've been sn sniffly this morning. Ugh, God. There it goes. Yay. Oh yeah, we got a root home last stream, so that we don't have to worry about using uh, poison mead anymore. Or anti-poison mead, rather. Oh yeah, we built this monstrosity last stream too to get the borers back in there. Bees are doing their business. Yeah, I, I, I want a better place to build just because, yeah, it's kind of just an awkward spot and there's the trolls and shit just keep spawning in and it's just tedious. Oh, we did have some farming to do. We'll just do that now. Yeah, I don't play this file or like pretty much anything that I stream offline. Just, I don't know, feels like it'd be more appreciated if I don't do that because then you can experience everything that I'm doing in these games. I keep pressing, I kept, I pressed like the wrong button like like <laughs> three separate times it felt like okay let's line up our since we have well, plenty of space to plant these we're going to use a good amount of space Rest assured, we'll make a bigger uh, place to, we'll make a bigger zone to plant things in at our new base when we won't well, make it. Uh, 
I don't have I don't have any, a, a good amount of turnips yet for actually using for food so we're gonna just have to rely on other forms of sustenance uh, let's see what we let's see what the, our options are because yeah we're we 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 only really have sausages right now. <laughs> if we had a better, if we had a, uh, we guess we could fish. Cause uh, the cause cooking uh, raw fish is about the same as deer stew, which is kind of be what I probably make anyway so hmm. we're still trying to save for the Megan Yord um, relic from the traders so we might just have to go find some blueberries and make some Queen's jam or something to just kind of cope and seed <laughs> I think this is where I was heading the thistle. Yeah, well, let's, uh... Let's make a few more of those while we've got the time. <clears throat> okay, and then... I can probably just like, let me see, Queen's Jam is not great, but I mean, honestly, it's not much worse than the uh, carrot soup that has been carrots on, which I'd rather just not do that, because carrots take time to grow, and I don't want to use those to breed pigs. So, we're just gonna make up some Queen's Jam real quick and call it good. Haven't been really using the blueberries or anything for much anyway, so it gives us at least use for them. Okay. <clears throat> I have a feeling this means that we're gonna go into a crypt, but we just kinda got cut short on time, which doesn't surprise me, honestly. Frankly, we could probably just get away with using some deer meat right now. Because <clears throat> I just need something to kind of tide us over till we get better food. And that requires the uh, turnips to be in a uh, reproduced and plentiful amount. Which we're kind of, we're almost there. and put away the rest of this stuff. <clears throat> and I guess this will be our food spread. It's like 10 less HP and so not and a little bit less stamina, but it still should be good enough because the sausages are the real, like, the real powerful food here, and those are very easy for us to acquire. So we got the trader there. We've got the certlings all hooked up. 
How's our coal looking? Oh no, I'm even bothering because we're probably going to want to be moving that soon. Well, once we figure out what we're doing with our lives, at least. Because, yeah, we only found three crypts in this one biome. So, oh, excuse you. It's not yours, it's mine. <laughs> Punk ass. Very stinky. Hello, other stinky. <laughs> oh, I staggered him. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have had my shield equipped for that one. Um. I mean, I got two crypts I can go through, so we're going to be doing that and getting as much iron from them as possible. And then we'll get it on our boat and we'll sail away. Alright, first things first, let's make a fire in this room so we can get the rested buff whenever we're, we need it, and it'll just help us heal HP as well when we're near it and stuff. And dry off, so we get our stamina recovery back. Okay. I'm glad that we decided to get the uh, root helmet before coming in here into these next ones, because now we don't have to worry about, oh, I'm out of... I'm out of, uh, anti-poison, uh, meads. I gotta leave. Because our helmet just permanently has a resistance to poison. Oh, hello. Don't worry, I'll help you down. No, oh, you helped yourself down. Yeah, as you can see, like, the poison damage isn't really that bad now. It's like 1.7 per tick, for 8 ticks, which is like 9, like, maybe like 13 damage. And it's all healed up. What I am gonna do is turn, put this on when, when there's not poison enemies around. I try to have this on so I can see because it's dark in here. Okay, let's see, anyone in here? Oh, we have a chest. Oh, nice, some goodies. Got a, get some, got a chain. Grab some of these things, they'll sell pretty nicely. There's uh, a ruby, a withered bone.
Oh, this is like an awkward spot to mine that in. I really want whatever this little bit. There we go. Got him. Glad I did because I had that one little piece that had a bit of scrap iron in it, which is mostly why we're even here. So it's nice to get that. Okay, we should be able to. Uh, we got we're gonna, we're gonna have to go underwater, aren't we? Well, that's fine. We can just I'll let us uh break this then, because the enemies can't swim after us underwater like that. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, we're gonna be at a. Oh wait, no, there's just nothing here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, one of course there's another room there. Let's get rid of this wet buff though, or debuff rather. bone we need at least we're gonna need at least 10 of them for probably next stream I would imagine oh look at me I can see the void Woo! <laughs> there are there are way there are definitive ways to clip out of bounds in this game if you so choose I think the easiest is like putting like a uh, like there's like these little sitting logs you can make out of core wood. You can put like it near the ceiling and then like click on it to like sit on it and then like when your character is like sitting on it, you 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 go to get up and then you jump and you can just like jump on top. You can like clip through the ceiling. <laughs> it's amazing. This game is fucking just everything. It's so good. Like it's got a speed run. It's got a budding speed run, speed running scene. I don't. I don't want to even say budding. It's got a speed running scene, for just like how fast you can kill the bosses, and a lot of it involves just complete cheese, which honestly is just funny. They got like these like big bosses, and he can just like cheese them by like digging a hole, covering it with like floor, and then fucking stabbing their like. They're dangly bits with a fucking knife. <laughs> it's just really funny to me. I mean, that's it's like how you can kill everything in real life. Just stab it with a knife. It's probably going to die eventually. Hmm. I do need to be mindful of my weight, though, since, well... Iron weighs a lot. So we may uh, come back to that. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna come we're gonna go and we're gonna leave and come back very briefly. The portal won't let us through when we have the iron with us, but we can just like throw it on the floor. Or better yet, on the table. And since there's a, a workbench here, it won't despawn. We can just kind of leave it and come back. Probably won't really despawn anyway because we're unloading the area. Alright, then we can just kind of offload some of this stuff. constantly be making more sausages because they are
Yeah. Right, we'll worry about trying to sell off some of the stuff after we're done with those two dungeons. Or maybe just one of them, because if I can if I can get scrounged up enough money to buy the Megging Yord, that would make our lives a fair bit easier. Uh, let's actually be a little bit more surgical with our our wood expenditure. Yeah, because we only need ten to make a chest, and then we would want. We already have enough bones to fight to go ch go challenge the boss once, but eh. Hmm. Okay. Some miscellaneous goodies in here. Um. Chain away. Okay, we've got that. Let's make the sausages real quick. Because they are one of the best, like, mid game foods. Okay, we need to give you. I'm just gonna fill this up and grab some more wood out. Because we're gonna want the fire going anyway. Okay, got more wood out. Now let's make the sausages. Now also inside of these uh, crypts are spawners for the Draugr, which drop the intestines, which make us sausages. So going through a few of these dungeons and not to deal with some of those spawners can get you a lot of casings. Plus just moving around the swamp in general and fighting them. Although, like, in some parts of the of the world, you can easily kind of set up a spawner area. Kind of like how you do with, like, dungeons in Minecraft. You can set up, like, kind of like an area where the droggers spawn in and then they get, like, fucking caught, caught, catch on fire and die. <laughs> yeah, because, oh, all of our frost-resistant meads are done. That's for the next the, the next biome. We don't need those yet, but I figure I might as well make them while we're just kind of tooling around in here. Let's, let's split our sausage stack. No reason not to. And with that, we're going to go back. Because the dungeons don't care what time of day it is when you are inside. The only thing matters is if it's night out, you can get ambushed by some pretty unsavory things like wraiths. And just I think the spawn rate's just higher in general. Okay, let's make a chest. We'll just put it right here. That's chiefly so we can come out here, store all of our iron away. Because that iron... Wait, our weight goes from 72 to 242, so yeah, the iron weighs a lot. We're going to toss that two wood on there, and then we're going to go back through this way. Ooh, another treasure room. I wasn't expecting another one of these. Ooh, another two chests. Ooh. I usually don't have good luck finding these rooms. Like, usually I just get kind of like really substandard crypts generated. Okay, was it like this I am? I'm trying to... There we go. Well, it doesn't like it doesn't really look like it mattered much, but okay, eh, whatever. Come a bad chest because these chests can contain iron themselves, which ends up being very nice when you just get like a few chests, just giving you an extra like thirty something iron for literally nothing, and it's awesome when it happens and a little disappointing when it doesn't. 
Uh, we're gonna put this bark away outside because it just weighs a lot. The stuff we want and need, because eventually we're gonna make a long ship, and that takes ancient bark, which you can get from the trees outside, like kind of tall ones that we can cut. But you can also just get it for free as a loot in here, so I usually just kind of do that. All right, let's make sure we got all of our goodies. Yep, and yep. All right, let's see what else lies wait ahead and wait for us. <laughs> While I'm noticing that, let's eat some food to get our, our stats back up. Is there anything in here? There's a little an, an underwater part that might actually lead to a room with stuff, so let's break all this. Seems like there's just like a barely a little bit clipping through the floor. Maybe that was part of it. I don't know. Well, I I, I already see the freaking poop, the little stinky dudes. And then there's a drowger on his little stoop kids not leaving a stoop. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. 22 months? Jeez. I've been streaming that long? It, I don't really keep track most of the time. Hi, Dre. Give me a sec. I'll get some coffee here. I'll take a big gulp in your honor. Mm. Delish us. <clears throat> we are dungeon crawling around. We got some. Dude, I'm, I'm right. You know what? For your insolence. <laughs> oh, I'm glad y'all have been able to. I, I think it's, it might be cross-play. I'd have to look more into it, but I think it might be cross-play. Because if so, then I could play with y'all too. I don't have it on... I don't have an Xbox, but I, I mean, I've got it on PC. <clears throat> yeah, this game is awesome. I love this game. I, I want to, I want to, I want to say it's crossplay, but I. Woof. I wonder if this, I wonder if this is the game that pa Paul was talking about on like, on uh, Monday. Yes, he, yeah, Monday. Because I had to, t I took Monday off so that I could um, do taxes, and so I had some time where I was playing some RuneScape and stuff too. But then like. Brian was a little delayed, and I was like, wait, what, he's like, oh, I wonder if he's playing that game, <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> well, now I can probably say, oh, yeah, probably, because this game fucking rules, yeah, I'll, I'll have to try looking more into it, as I have time, because if I could, if we can figure out how to do that, I could like run a server or something, or we could rent out a server and just have a good time. But then again, I just don't know how it works, so we'd have, I'd have to look into it. But that would be really cool. Yep, yeah, we're we're dungeon crawling, getting some iron, and having a good time. Yeah, it's it's very fun. Just build like a big ass house and just run around, and just get up to mischief. We're currently in the third part of the game where you're in the swamp. I'm growing turnips back home. We got some boars. Not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Oh, 
just swinging wildly with my pickaxe. Swinging my pickaxe side to side. <laughs> as the as the youngins might say. Uh... Yeah, I'm currently I'm currently in like the top of a hill next to the first black forest I found and I wanna move I wanna make a new base somewhere near a bigger swamp. I'll probably try to find where the third boss is and maybe make a base near there depending on because usually there's a pretty big swamp where the third boss is I'm getting a little screwed over in the the chest loot in this dungeon which sucks but because I found like two of these treasure rooms but none of them ha have had extra iron in there for me let's it's, it's dry off our little I mean, I should probably just go outside first because I got some stuff to put away. Okay, let's dump off any goodies. Oh yeah, it's it's really fun. One, I'm I'm pretty sure y'all probably figured it out at this point, but portals are super super OP, and you should definitely be using them. Like, it's worth it to go back to some of those little dungeons in the Black Forest to just get enough of the cores to make some portal sets so you can zoom all over the map. I don't think that's too spoilery. Because I know I don't like spoilers, so I wouldn't really want to spoil y'all in this game. Especially if you're all playing it together and have a great time. Let's see anything? Oh, there's a little bit more. Scraps. Okay, and then there's another pile of junk here. Yeah, they're very nice to have. Well, I guess this dungeon is tapped out. I can't really. Uh, there's, I got had a few treasure rooms, but just n no, nothing specifically good in them. We got some uh, ancient bark, but we could have just got that from not treasure chests. So, oh well. Uh, well, let's uh, break you because I can get the stones back and. Off. Well, that, that dungeon got us like 32 iron. That's not the worst. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It could have been worse. Could have got a lot less. Right, so this one is done. Yeah, you gotta be like, hey, dude, we're trying to learn the game. Just, just let us play and have a good time. Like, you gotta, like, kind of just... You gotta assert your boundaries sometimes, which is fine. Everyone should be able to have those kind of things. Also, if you are in a swamp and you see these big jets of flame, I can show you how you can take advantage of that. I'll show you real quick. You might have seen it previously in a different stream or whatever, but I can show you it now because it's very, very, very nice to have these because the little guys that's the little guys that spawn from these don't like water so if you just kind of flatten the area around these out they'll spawn in the water and die and they'll just drop all their shit everywhere <laughs> for free it's it's pretty sweet and they drop these core things infinitely in coal so it's super super good to have and they can just make portal yeah, and they can just make a portal network between all of these that you have, and then you can just pass through them all. <laughs> and when you spawn in, you can hear them die, <laughs> dying immediately as I'm even just spawning into the area. And I like to put like stone underneath them most of the time, but I just didn't really. Hmm. I've 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 considered doing something like that to get fish more easily, but I've not really ever done it much because it seems like a lot of effort and I don't usually use fish anyway but 
Let's see, that's three, so two. That's sometimes if you just have like rock, just have rocks near like a bunch of like the, the coast, they'll just, the fish will just kind of get stuck there anyway. That's usually just how I find fish. The caveman way. Ooga booga. <laughs> Ah, okay, I see. See, the more you know, I just don't really know anything about... I know you can, like, catch fish, but I don't really know much about, like, just fish showing up. But yeah, if you find... If y'all find any of these, like, flame jets, that I would definitely recommend... Yeah, it makes it, it, makes it really easy so that you... It's so it's just just enough water to um to have them die, but where you can still like run around. I don't know if I've really shown off shown you this stuff, but this is kind of like my little farming zone, and then I have some boars that um they uh, this is my boar breeding zone. Okay, we got boars, 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 boars. And the way this works is, well, you could probably, just from looking up at that, you could probably tell how this works just by observing how they're set up. How they're set up. <laughs> it's like a poop shoot. <laughs> they breed, and then the little baby just gets shot out down here. <laughs> I didn't come up with this, but it's definitely, like, amazing, because the, the, the animals have a, like, breeding, like, area where, like, they have to be, like, there are going to be so many in a certain area. So by making this, the little breeding platform 10 high, high off the ground, I make it 12 just for good measure, you can, um... They'll just breed as long as they're fed and all that. Like, hmm. Okay, I think there's probably... Oh, yeah, there's a gr fucking gray dwarf over here. This is why I don't like sitting up near Black Forest. These things are just a pain, pain in the ass. You gonna... Okay, Goku, you gonna fucking do something? Punk ass. <laughs> you about to fucking Kamehameha my ass. <laughs> Not this time. Um... Let me. I'll sleep and then I'll breed them and we'll and I'll I'll let you see firsthand how exactly it works. It's really funny to me. Sleep in my nice little bedroom here. Uh. For so, for. So what are y'all doing? Someone's breaking something. <clears throat> Don't know where they are. <laughs> Just no idea what was what was being broken. I think I have some more boars in here. Yeah, I got a few more. Those are the emergency boars. Uh, let me get some. I'll get like one set of carrots here, just because carrots are ideal to, they're, they're an ideal thing to feed boars just because they have the smallest hitbox so you can more easily kind of just feed them to the animals. Uh, let's put that away. Got... As you can see, we've got a few of these cores already. <laughs> oh, that's, it's going to be fun, yeah. Hey, if you're able to, you should take some pictures to show me what y'all guys are working with. Sounds interesting. <clears throat> Got some more bones. Some rubies. That. Uh, 
Okay. It's all there. Oh, I was gonna show the I was gonna show how the breeding works. Well, I mean I'm sure y'all know how to breed animals. If not, then you can breed you can breed some animals you can tame and breed, which includes boars. And we don't need to keep this ramp here, but I've had these boars somehow, one of them just escaped from up here somehow, so, um, yeah, I just keep that there, and I just keep this here now, so if it happens again, I can just get, just push one up the ramp again. I have this portal to get back up there easily. Okay, and then you... You have this so that their heads can poke through. Sweet. Hell yeah. Okay, they should, yep, they munch it. And it probably won't take long for them to um, start doing what they do best. Oh, yep, it, it, it begins. <laughs> it begins. Um, I just want to see it happen once. I don't. I don't. I don't derive joy from this. This is this is for science. <laughs> and they'll just sit up there and do their business. I mean, they already kind of did their business. Um, you have to find higher star levels. And the easiest way to do that is either there's like these like rune stones around the map that can sometimes spawn boards and those can be possibly higher star levels. But if you go for like, I think it's like 800 meters away from spawn, higher stars boards can start spawning. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not something they immediately tell you. So I've had to kind of just learn. Okay, eventually they're gonna have the child. Oh, it's it's ha it's gonna be soon. <laughs> Come on, don't keep the good people at home waiting. Yeah. Like, oh no, my boars. Are mommy and daddy fighting? <laughs> Come on. This other boar is like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> that one. Oh! <laughs> Don't blink, you'll miss it! <laughs> Leroy and Seal are at it again. I guess Leroy's back drinking. Sometimes they, they're doing it. But, yeah, they'll, they'll kind of just do that. I don't think they'll do it when I'm away from here. But at the... That's patriarch piggies. You got you gotta start you gotta start with a few and then you can have more than a few. Let's see, I just need five stone for the next campfire. Let's put the that away. I'll just move that up there. <clears throat> Those jets of flame are also really good for killing the big tree monsters that you you folk you might have seen in the swamp, the big stompy bastards. They're kind of like the rare, the big rare spawn of the swamp, kind of like how trolls are in the black forest. And by killing two of them, you can make a root mask, which gives you just passive poison resistance, which is nice to have if you're gonna be doing things in the swamp. Uh, let's, let's get 12. So we're gonna get, make a chest at the next dungeon, and... 
yeah. I might bring this cart with me. Jeez, break, why don't you? Thank you. <laughs> Fuckers is like, hmm, I don't think I will. Alright, let me go back. You can have a you can have a portal that's just untagged like this as well. So that you, if you run into an emergency, you can just place the portal down without having to name it something. Oh absolutely, yeah. That that same, same. I'm gonna have to look into seeing how crossplay works. And if so, maybe I could make a uh, a server for us to play on or something. Or we could, like, spring for a cheap one or something. But absolutely, thanks for stopping in. It's nice talking with you. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh! Oh! Ghost! <laughs> Motherfucker, jump scare me and shit. Oh, might help if I have my fucking weapon equipped. Shit ass ghost. <laughs> God damn. I'm just trying to mind my own business and this fucking ghost is like, surprise, bitch! <laughs> Oh, fuck. The shenanigans this fucking game can hoist upon ye. We're just gonna load up all the stuff from here. Uh, actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll collect stuff in this chest. And we'll get, we'll drag this cart. Why don't I build this fucking cart here, then? I could just drag it over there. Yeah, it's probably smarter. Okay, break our things, and we'll just get in the. We'll grab the cart, and we'll just run on over. Okay, that wasn't bad. I was like, wait. Why don't I just, like, run over with the damn thing? And I guess since I'm gonna just be using the cart and drag it over back over there, I don't really need to make the chest here. <laughs> I do need to make this, though. And then we'll make our portal. Come on, bony bitch. Too hard, that's me. I'm too hard. Don't shoot my portal, you shit. Crunch. <laughs> uh -oh, righty then. Yeah, we'll be putting some, I'll just go ahead and put those, put this stuff in here just so it's not in my fucking inventory. Alright, well let's see how interesting this dungeon is, because it might not be very interesting. Oh boy, it's gonna immediately be interesting. Maybe a little too interesting. Ass Draugr. Well, as much as I like having an infinite sausages fucking machine, I'm gonna have to destroy that. I'm just gonna stand.
Yeah, they, they keep they keep spawning the goddamn archers, which is annoying. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my shield's not very strong. Like, my shield's as strong as it can be, and it's just not, like, good enough. So we're gonna just sit here and... This is like some RuneScape levels of cheese. Another thing I love about this game is that you can just do shit like this, and there's just nothing this Draugr can really do. <laughs> He's just gonna sit here and just get murdered. He's running away, look out! Oh, look, he's back. Well, this also is very convenient because that'll let us know where Bone Mass is fucking 10 miles, 10 million miles away. Jesus. Ooh, we did get a nice. We did finally get a good chest of loot, though. I mean, if we really wanted, we probably could go fight Bone Mass this stream, but I'm more interested in just kind of building up and. Well, maybe we'll go and discover Bone Mass and make a portal back to Bone Mass, but we're probably not going to fight it this stream because we're going to want a nice and probably upgraded Iron Mace for that. And since we don't have Megan Yord, we're going to have to... <clears throat> go outside and then yeah we'll have to go outside drop stuff off and come back and go back in just because we just don't have enough carrying capacity we'll see how how things progress and we might end up trying to make a long ship and uh, going to find bone mass that might also just bone mass is usually in a pretty note and pretty sizable s swamp biome so that might be a good place to set up a new base anyway Let's see what's this way. I'm almost I'm almost certain there's a slime somewhere. <clears throat> Ooh, we have another treasure room here. Have we got any chests? No, we don't. Unfortunate, honestly. I was hoping we'd there'd be some chests in here, but no, there's just bones and another one of these things for a plate. The location we literally already just found. So, oh well. Let's see what the next room has. It sounds like the next room probably has a Draugr spawner, which is either gonna be a piece of cake to take out or a fucking nightmare. It's 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 never one or the other. It's always one or. It, 
it's always one or the other. It's never just, oh, well, this was moderately hard to take out, but I managed. It's usually, oh, wow, I killed these and none spawn, so I get to just kill the spawner, or they're constantly spawning, and there's, like, three archers, and there's, like, two elites, and it's just... I mean, that's more than that can spawn, but you get the idea. It's just... It's either really easy or really hard to get rid of these spawners. <clears throat> it's mostly RNG. Oh, woo! <clears throat> Damn it, Draugr Elite got in the way. Just trying to shoot the little guy back there. Yeah, as it, cur as it currently stands, I'm not really able to block to successfully parry the elites. Their attack power is just a little too high. So I will resort to easier methods to deal with them. I'm just gonna have to, to bite the bullet and Okay, the uh the corpse pile isn't in here, at least. It's probably in a room over there. That's an amazing find. More iron. I think this one dungeon's got more iron than the previous two maybe combined. Thank you for the hydrate, Cloudy. Good morning. I hope you had an I hope you had a nice rest. We are currently in a stinky swamp trying to find as as a canning may say Bread of the Forge. <laughs> Kennings are great. It's like Viking Age, like kind of like rhymes. And sometimes they can just be insults. <laughs> it's just funny. Because the Viking culture had a lot of just like playful insults at each other. We are digging through this crypt. This is the last one in the biome that I've currently found, so we're just kind of... Making our way through, trying not to die to... to basically Viking zombies. It's ba that's, ba that's basically like what Draugr are, kind of like zombies of the Viking Age. There's just a lot of crap to dig through. Ow! I see your stinky little eyes over there. Pew! 
Got him. Were you? I think I. I think I saw you saying you were playing a uh, fourteen yesterday. Unfortunately, I, was, I wasn't able to hop into the live uh, your your uh, VC or anything because I was at work. But hope you had a good time. Oh, cool. Now, what exactly is the relic weapon? Some more treasures. Is it part of, like, the Endwalker expansion, or is it an earlier thing that I just don't know anything about? Surprise, you know how to operate stairs, mister. They usually don't do very good with stairs. Ooh. Okay, you're, just, you're, you're not a zero star. So let's just uh, get rid of you, and then we're gonna destroy this gruesome body pile. Okay, good. Body piles are dangerous. Grab the withered bone. Okay, there's no iron in here anyway, so we don't have to worry about like getting some stuff and then having to leave to come back to this room specifically. Maybe there's another room that we haven't been into yet that we will have to do that for, but... Oh goodness! <laughs> Talk to me, mother. You would never understand my pain. <laughs> I never got into to Gaia. Whenever it was in its heyday, I was I just played RuneScape. <laughs> His smile, smiles, smiles, and sweats as I still play RuneScape. <laughs> Uh, it really, it really just is 2004 again these days, isn't it? We're getting a Resident Evil 4s back. Freaking, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just 2004 again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's drop off some stuff outside. Our little, see a, a real stinky out there. Put on our mask before it comes too close, and then we'll clobber it. Ooh, real stinky. Head through our portal now. It was so much simpler back then, yeah. It sure was. The moon's bright as fuck. Okay, let's drop off some treasures and some not treasures. Brendan Treasure. <laughs> okay, we're still fine on food for now. Let's 
fix up our junk. Sounds like another piggy was born into this world. Good for them. Let's go to sleep. That would be a hell of a dream. Like, you dream that you're, like, out, like... Nice. <laughs> like, you dream that you're, like, out and about, like... Hunting and, like, foraging for... F oh, I need to check my, uh... Speaking of checking out foraging... I need to check my crops there. See how far ahead they... How long... Far along they are. Oh, turnips are partially done. Some of them aren't, but it probably won't be long till these are done too. the shitty fence. Next time I sleep, they should be kind of just passively getting heart points while I'm at the base. Or love points. I don't really know, can't remember what the terminology is, but. It's not ideal, but I could definitely, uh... Mm. Yeah, we'll just... Go do stuff, and we'll, when we come back, those will be ready, and... We'll finish off this dungeon. It probably won't take too long, honestly. When we come back, hopefully those will be done, and then we can... Turn, to, turn all 27 of those into seeds. Which will make it be 80, which will get me 81 seeds. And then we can plant those 81 turnips. And at that point, you start getting to the point where you can, like, plant, like, you can grow, like, you can grow, like, 150 seeds. And then you can turn 50 of the turnips that you grow for those 150 back into seeds to get another 150 seeds and then you basically just gain 100 turnips every time you plant stuff and it's very good anyway let's continue the the mining So we've got another area we can go under there. I can already see there's a blob, so we're just gonna we're just gonna bite the bullet and try to take care of this. Oh. You fuckers are rude. You know, no, screw you. Screw you, blob. 
I was gonna try to play fair and like actually fight you, but no. Y'all are mean. <laughs> that Draugr's mean too. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot you. Pain in the ass. You're a pain in the ass too. be able to switch to this now because I don't know if there's any more blobs in this dungeon if there are I haven't heard them ooh more iron nice some coins on their bone some pearls Yeah, after this dungeon, we're going to be trying to, like, corral up all of our, um, iron and going home. And then we can make some armor, some tools, well, most definitely some iron nails, so that we can make a long ship, and after that, we're probably going to go try to find bone mass and see how big the swamp biome that they generate in is. If it's pretty big, I might try to find a nearby, like, meadows on the same island to set up a, a nice, a new base, because the base we had, the base location we have now was great for the very early game, because it was right next to some ore, but it's kind of not as ideal now. Or, I guess, anymore, rather. Drop off some more, some more swag. Yeah, this this little cart is pretty full already. <clears throat> Most of the stuff we can take back through these portals with us, and we will, because we're only, we're only gonna want to have to haul iron around. We don't want to have to haul everything around. But since I my carry weight's limited to 300 right now. I kind of just need to uh, offload stuff every once in a while. I still, hear, I still hear slimes jumping around. I was gonna say I didn't miss a door over here, did I? The answer is no, I didn't. There's not one there either. So. <clears throat> Oh, it's probably like in here. Yeah, no shit. There's just still, there's still some spots in here. So, we'll go through here and get what's in here, and then we'll head back to the underwater swimming part that I have to do again. And we'll go from there. Alright, stinky. You made it dark in here. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to I didn't mean to upskirt you, blob. Nope. Where are you? Excuse me. Let the aim higher. 
<laughs> well, I guess that scared you off of your perch. Oh yeah, there's still a blob somewhere. Pro probably in the next room over there. Damn blob destro destroyed the torch that was in here. Now it's dark. Yeah, that's the only disadvantage of not using the the po the anti poisons is you have to wear the root helm, which in here is not ideal because it's just dark. But once the slimes are gone, we can just switch back to the the light helm and it'll be fine. Oh, you're big. Oh. Not that big. Not as big as you think you are. Okay, I don't hear any more blobs right now, so we'll switch back to this. Okay, there's like two more spots to dig there. What do we have in here? Oh, I hear more blobs. Yeah, I said I hear it. I hear a freaking Draugr corpse pile. Oh, buddy. Come on. I know you're there. Did you get stuck? Well, I'll make this whole process a little easier. Give me some ranging XP, too. Boop. Right in this nasty little snoot. Oh, uh-oh. That's a... That's a Draugr of unusual size. Um, or maybe I'm just bad. I don't know. I think my, my uh, stats were getting low from not eating recently enough, too. So maybe it's just... No, oh, no, that is a one star. Okay, I was like, wait, that's a lot of damage for a Draugr. Like, they're, they do decent damage, but that's, like, a lot of damage for a Draugr. I can't believe I managed to hit that <laughs> fucking Draugr like that. Yeah, I'm not going to give him the chance to get a shot on me. That would be the uh, a painful experience. Alright, that one's dead. Let's quickly try to get in here. And... Oh. Get 
Good, we got it. Ow. Where? Are you in the fucking mound? You might be in the fucking... No, you're right there. I was like, wait, are you in the... I've had that happen before. There was like a Draugr like inside of one of these freaking mud piles. <laughs> it was just shooting arrows at me. It was like, really game? Like, I understand I could do some like unfair cheesy shit to the enemies, but like, goddamn. Ow. Rude. Like, you're not supposed to cheese me back, game? <laughs> All right, this room is now uh, disarmed. Admittedly, my armor score is pretty low when I'm not wearing the root helm, because this little light thing is very light, very weak armor. But it's not meant to be armor. It's meant to be a light source, so you just kind of have to make deal. Anywho, let's clear out this garbage yeah this this was a good a nicely generated dungeon I think it's almost empty now of enemies so it should be pretty simple to kind of just get the rest of the stuff and then make our way home Really? It could... What, whatever. That, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Because that would, that would imply that there's some, uh... More stuff there, but if I can't hit it, I can't hit it. <laughs> This game's not like Minecraft where everything's exact little voxels or squares or whatever. It's voxels. And kind of deformable terrain and stuff like that. Oh, we have, we're carrying too much. We'll have to put our iron away in there for now yeah never mind okay let's grab our our iron and look we'll slowly walk away from here kind of take stock of what's left to destroy in this dungeon Let's see, that's clear, that way is clear. Let's actually store our iron in here for a quick so we can... Okay, there's two spots to mine here, there's one there, that way's done. This way, there's two to there. There's still some stuff to do. So we're gonna grab this iron and like walk it out of the dungeon and plus the other stuff we have and then we'll come back in here probably one more time plus this will let us go check on the turnips and then we and then we can replant those and we'll do that so we can restore our <laughs> stamina oh there's also another room there apparently Good to know. Uh, we should be able to turn this way and this way, and this should be the exit. Or at least on the way to the exit. Let's just. No. Oops. Yeah, we got. One way or another, we got. <laughs> that wasn't a very good throw. Uh, one like one way or another, we got to um, through the iron like that. Do 
that, and we're gonna start grabbing some, grabbing some of the heavier, some of the other stuff that already has stacks back at home. Wee. <sighs> um, why'd my thing freeze? What are you, what are you doing, thing? What? <laughs> huh. What is going on? That like that's like a local thing. How is that messing up? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Whatever game. You keep your secrets. Alright, let's Woo! Poof. Oh, my inventory's fucking full. <laughs> Let me, let's take care of that, and then we'll grab those, we'll replant all the seeds, and we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. You go there. Chains. Nice that we got that many chains, because we're going to need them for some other thing. Oh, <laughs> there's some more boars. Okay, and then let's go to our treasure. One, we got a decent amount of stuff so far. With all this, that might be enough. Like, that's 360. That's 100. So, uh, it's getting close. It is getting close. Uh, for now, this bark can just go in here. We're gonna use a good chunk of it to make a long, a long ship. Somewhat soon, but until then, we're just gonna have to. <laughs> I like I had just like one thing, and it filled that up. All right. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our little diggy, our little diggy diggy tool. Let's kind of center it on this. Move it to make sure it doesn't like move very far. Wow, the <laughs> the other turnips are still in the box. It's like wait. What happened? Why am I? Why? Why me? No plant. <laughs> why me? No plant. Fuck do you think you're doing, Grayling? You're not even scary, you're just kind of annoying. You're not even you're not scary either. Come here. <laughs> you tree bastard, come here. Well, I just swatted I just swat him like a fucking bug. Boop. <laughs> like those are planted. We can put our little cultivator away. Fix up our stuff. Let's offload some of this stuff. We don't need it. Um, okay. Oh, we're gonna get rid of that because that's like two armor. That's like nothing. That's not gonna like do anything for anyone tangibly. At some point, we're probably gonna get an iron axe just because. This is an upgrade, so we'll probably swap out the stone one for the bronze one in this chest. Because it's, it's good to have backup stuff in case, you know, bad things happen. Like, you die and, like, you're not able to get back to your stuff very easily. I'm gonna... 
Gonna just fill some of these torches up. Perhaps I should have a torch in my bedroom to make it nice and warm, nice and inviting in there. Don't need to, but yeah, just like one right in the corner, like right here. Oh yeah, that's that's nice and warm. Maybe I could have one out here. Mostly just start looking for an excuse to like use up some of this damn resin because I have so much of it because you get so much of it. Don't throw rocks at my window, you asshole. Assholes. Plural. <laughs> yeah, because like these gray dwarves always drop resin, which is which could probably just illustrate how many of the bastards I've had to kill living here. Because <laughs> there's just so much. Right, we can probably put that away. Let's put that away, and then we will... I'm just going to throw this out in the field. and If it despawns, great. If not, whatever. I don't care. All right. Well, for now, let's uh, close our little doors closed. Bedroom's looking a little more inviting. Let's eat some, some snack and then go to bed. And then we're going to go back and finish off that dungeon and start getting all the stuff from the swamp, from that swamp. And we'll get it home, which might be more dangerous than dealing with the freaking dungeons themselves, because the swamp is not a very easy place to navigate on a good day. Alright, those are all planted. What is going on with my thing? Well, we gotta look at this. What's what's up? Hmm. Like it's like noticeably like stopping. Sometimes, like, I don't know what's going on with it. Anyway, if it messes up too much more, I'll probably, like, close and reopen the, the stuff, maybe. Oh, I s Okay, I'm gonna close the Vado tube and reopen it. Maybe there's just some weirdness going on. I don't normally have to do that, but, I mean... Who knows? It's just doing weird shit. Okay, let's make sure it's back online. So far, so good. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with my my. St I don't know. It's now it's just more. It's it's kind of more unsettling, honestly. But that wasn't really what I was going for. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't know what would be causing it, honestly. Maybe I have to remake the source at some point. Maybe it's just fucking freaking out. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> All that I know is that I... have more dungeon to go through. I don't think there's anything that way. But I might double check once I finish off this 
area. Cell phone over here making little duty noises. Call that dude duty dancing. <laughs> Give. Give. No, okay, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't give me anything. <laughs> Ooh, money. I like money. <laughs> I think this is the, the part of it that we actually cleared out. Okay, so nothing else is this way. And these these really big dungeons like this are can be a little hard to kind of keep track of where you've been sometimes. Uh, let's see, is there anything in here? Yeah, this is the one that has two spots to break. There's another spot that way, but let's start with these. I had to find just the right angle to fucking hit that one. But when you hit it, they'll know. Yeah, the, the swamp era of the game takes a while. For good reason though, because like all this iron takes a while to, all these stuff takes a while to mine through, and then you gotta get the ore back to your base. I guess what you could do alternatively is like pack away some stuff to make a forge in your base, like on your little ship when you're coming out to a swamp, and then just make like a little forge base to process all the iron that way. But then if you want more, if you want to take the iron back, you'd have to haul more stuff back. So it's usually just better to kind of just consolidate everything in, in one go and then have one, sh one trip back.
And even though our little carved ship that we have only has four slots, there is a uh, very gamey but funny way to get around that, which we might have to use, because I think this one dungeon alone has gotten us like 80 something iron, so we're gonna have to get creative. Alright, so let's see. This way was. I think this way is empty. Just just double check, and I do not I do not want to like miss out on a room that has a chest with like a bunch of iron in it, because that could be just that's a big waste. Okay, so Okay, that's the way out. That has two more as well. Okay, that way is clear, that way is clear, which means this way is clear, so we're done in that wing of it. Let's see what we find in here. Probably not much, but I know there's at least one more, like, room. Somewhere in here. This might be another room, actually, just the way that the stuff is. Let's say here for just a, there we go. I was gonna say let's say here for just a sec longer so we can get back up to ten uh, rested, but. 10 minutes of rested bonus, because... Oh wait, no, that was the connecting room, so yeah, that's, I think that's it. I think that's the dungeon. I think that's our lot. Make sure that's empty, okay. No, this one's really twisty and turny and oh, let's let's double check this because I can't remember if there was more to this that I just didn't do. Nope. All right, that's it. This dungeon is done, which means these three um, these three dungeons are now cleared out. Just double check. There's nothing over here. Nope. There's just a dead end, and now I'm wet. Oh, great, I'm all wet now. <laughs> okay, we already registered that. And here is our handy dandy exit. We could just break this for five more stone, but I don't care. I don't really care to. Alright, well, that last trip back in got us another 20 iron from just digging out all the muck and nastiness. Like, that one dun this one dungeon got us, like over a hundred iron those are the good ones they take a while but they are very productive okay we're gonna grab everything that's not iron and take it take it home yeah I might have to remake that um, source or something I don't know what it's doing let me look at the properties real quick uh hmm. transparency yeah I'm not sure what would be causing it to do that weird stuff no, I just realized gross <laughs> that like the little thatch is clipping through the wall right there I don't know how I didn't notice that until now but I, I, I sure as hell didn't okay and that leaves us with we could probably some we could summon bone mass like four times <laughs> from all the stuff we found 
Not that we need to, but we could. You only really need to summon Bone Mass once. Well, I guess technically if you're playing multiplayer, you need to summon it more than that, so you can have... You only need really one Wishbone, which is the item dropped by Bone Mass to kind of let you get to the next, like, phase of the game. You only need one, basically. Uh, what am I going to do with this? Is there like, oh, well, I, I guess right here for now. With some of the iron, with, the, with some of the iron that we um, bring back, we're probably going to make some better chests too because, yeah, these chests are not very good. But we're going to hold off on that until we get to, um, I'm going to throw away these flint arrows. They're not really doing much for us. Okay. I was holding on to these, those flint arrows so that we could, uh. Let's hold on to the flint arrows so that I could, like, hunt deer or whatever with them. But I really don't mind just shooting a deer with a fire arrow. I can just make more. As a matter of fact, I need to make more. Probably should shoot a few more gulls, too, to get some more feathers. Because you don't go through, through feathers super quick, but you do go through them. And I usually get my first big chunk of uh, feathers from going through um, those uh, the little burial mounds in the Black Forest. Because part, part of their loot table is feathers for some reason. I don't really know why. But it's useful to just have a bunch of feathers from that. Okay. What we're going to do before we go back to the swamp is we're going to grab all this junk and try to go sell it and see how much we have. Let's go, let's go see Haldor. All right, we got more than enough, so we are going to buy Megan Yord. What's so great about Megan Yord, you say? Well, if you see that our weight currently says uh, 300, yeah, now it's 450. That that's why I've been so desperate to try to get Megan Yord, but I also bought the uh the circlet first because that makes the dungeons easier to explore so unfortunately i kind of had to do that but now that should make getting this iron back to um base a little easy just a little easier not by much but it's a little probably a little easier What are... Who's yelling? Is those whatever. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll put the rest of our money away. Money. M U N N Y money. Okay, we'll eat that. And once again, we are out of food, basically. But we're gonna be we're we're gonna be corralling up all of our iron. So hopefully, that can last long enough. And if we need to, we'll just make some more of the same stuff we just used. Cause I've got more deer meat, and I can get more, and I can I can ru I can rustle up some more uh, grub otherwise. All right, so let's break you first, and then you. Let's go ahead and check you off on the map. No, that's a tree. I was gonna say, is that another dungeon I just didn't see? Hmm. 
What is that over there? That might be... I don't know what that is. Um, let's, screw, let's go check it out. Oh, it's one of the, is the... That was the shine of a rock. Um, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think that's all the dungeons we have available to us. I believe there is, like, meadows off this way, or Black Forest, or whatever, but... Nah. Because this might be connected to this, but I don't really think I care. And because we have Megan Yord, we can carry one full stack of iron in our bag. M maybe even a little more. Yeah, for now we'll store our pickaxe and stuff away. Because the less the less weight that is in this cart, the faster it will move, and we want to have it move as fast as possible. So being just just at weight will let us move this shit a little faster around. It's about as ideal as you can really get it. Good thing about the cart is that it will float. If I get it, like, in the water, run through the water or swim or whatever. It's like, it will just float, <laughs> so. We're likely going to be going back up to this crypt here. But let's see. Yeah, we got some other stuff. Yeah, this dungeon only got us, like, 32 <laughs> iron. It's pretty weak. Pretty weak shit right there. Uh, we're just going to screw it, whatever. We'll just deal. Because I want to take this other stuff back. <laughs> just mosey our way on through. All right, and now we have this next to that. Let's go drop stuff off at home. We'll come back, grab the cart, and we will get it to the other. Oh shit! Where where was this? Oh, well, let's just grab, I guess we're grabbing more of this stuff, too. <laughs> Wasn't necessarily my intention, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why Vado Tube's doing what it's doing, because I'm, I'm looking over and noticing it every once in a while, where it, like, it just slows down, and it, I don't understand why it would start just suddenly doing, Jesus, a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't understand why it's doing what it's doing. Okay, and Sertling's one. Which certainly is one is the f linked to the home base, so we can drop our stuff off, and it's about night time, so it's good timing. Okay, we don't need that right now. Let's put a the wood. I'll store the stuff for the other portal separately in this chest where the wood stuff is, just because so it's easy to find. Although, yeah, as you can see, the uh, dungeons were very kind to me when it came when it comes to this bark. 
so I just don't have to cut down any of those trees, probably ever. <laughs> and I will humbly accept that uh, thing. I'll, ac I'll accept it. Let's see. Do I need to get more blueberries? Not yet. We got plenty of sausages still. Okay, and then we were using, I think we were using deer, which we, we still can. Might as well, otherwise it's just going to sit in my chest and just never get used for anything. Because I don't think too many higher tier foods use deer going forward, so might as well just use, use up some of it now while I'm kind of in between good food. Okay. Sleepy time. <laughs> Honk shoe me 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 me. That's kind of what my mop my freaking Vado tube's doing. It's 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 going to sleep too. <laughs> I'll have to look into why it's doing that. Oh yeah, that portal's deactivated right now because I, I destroyed it. And they, they are inadvertently just dying again, so. I might as well grab the stuff, I guess. I mean, I have plenty of coal as it is, but we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna go through a good amount of it processing all this iron, too, so. May as well. Alright, and then we'll grab that. We can grab one more iron. If you want, if you wanted to be as frugal as possible with space we could definitely be more frugal but I don't care that much so now let's get our carts hmm I should probably clear this out but we're not gonna really have to come back here too much anymore so I don't know if I really care so we're gonna just go back around this way Yeah, this place is littered with these like s these like spawn zones for all these droggers and shit. And unfortunately, droggers are still a tangible threat, so I just don't want to spawn them if I don't have to. So we're gonna just go a little around the long way. Or as long of a way as I can manage without it's still taking forever. Leave me alone, you bony bastard. Oh great, there's another one right here too. Like, yeah, there's just like a bunch of these that I just haven't bothered with. Can you not? Punk ass. Punk ass boner. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to wade through the swamp. Right down the middle. Like like just just thread the needle basically uh jeez hey we made it to the first dungeon 
which probably also has some stuff from inside. I don't know how much. What's in here? What's this? Oh, a torch. There's also this here. Uh, what? How much did we have? Uh, we had a little bit. Not much, but we'll grab what we have here. And we'll, we'll haul it all back with us. Because I made this t this two iron here so I could put the stone underneath there, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, come on, really? Why, why are you spawning now? Go away. Go away. Go away. Punk ass. <laughs> um, yeah, just put this stuff away. Well, we'll just haul it with us. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're, we're not going to have to worry about ship space. Really. I know our boat's over there somewhere. At least it fucking better be. Because <laughs> this, this success, the success of this is going to be entirely contingent on my boat being there still. Three, six, oh, we got a decent amount of iron. The, f the first two dungeons I went through were disappointing. But, you know, sometimes they are. Sometimes they're just not very good. Ooh, leech, hello. I need your blood bags, baby. Come here. Come back. Don't you want to give me a kiss? Well, here's this one does. So it's like, let me kiss ya. Let me smooch ya. Oh, a leech trophy. Of course I'd get a leech trophy. Is that the one star? That's oh, just a different leech. Where are ye? Oh great, another tree. Well, I most certainly can't, um... Can't try to drag stuff to my boat with that thing around, so we're probably gonna have to lure it to the fire. Come back. Why are you running away from me? Pain in the ass. These damn trees. Doing a big steppy. Oh, hey, there's, that's where the leech went. I was wondering where you went. What are you doing, you big asshole? What are you doing? I could try, like, fighting with the axe, but that's probably not going to end very well. And the whole dying wet and alone in the swamp thing that I was saying would probably just happen. So maybe we can just lead it through this nice, wide-open gap. Why are you going away, tree? You can still get to me, I promise. Okay. Hey, however you can do it, get on over here. And now, we just stand near the fire and, uh... Well... Don't be a spoiled sport, come here. <laughs> Like don't don't be a hater. Ooh, 
Yeah, those trees hurt. I shouldn't have dodged that one, I'll tell you that right now. Gotcha. I. <laughs> That's so treacherous. Why did I do that? But you know what? It's fine. Go away. Go away, blob. Nobody asked. <laughs> Nobody fucking asked you. Alright, let's grab all this crap. Yeah, if I, if I had a better shield, which we're going to be making as soon as we get all this stuff home... I would have just, I can, you can straight up fight the trees, like you can parry their shit. Cause the uh, block force is, like block force is 30 and the parry bonus is 1.5. Which means, uh, yeah, this thing can parry up to 45 damage. The trees are a little stronger than that. It's, it is good enough to handle dealing with draugers with zero stars. Which are kind of like the most kind of common, like, tedious enemy to deal with. So it's not bad. It's enough. I just didn't, I just usually don't like using bronze to make shields and stuff because it just takes a lot of energy and time to um, do stuff with bronze in general. All right, we're gonna be going this way. Yeah, this this card is very heavy, so it's uh, gonna be a little slow. But our boat should be over here. I wanna say. I mean, it, it's been it, it's been there allegedly for a while, so there's a chance that maybe it just got destroyed or something without me noticing, but. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this card's not always easy to, to deal with, but... Ooh. <laughs> but it is much better than have to make like 10 different trips across the swamp. When instead you can just make one very perilous trip. If I die, I die, you know? I'm gonna just fight this leech real quick, though. Because if you're wading through water like this, you do not want leeches to be trying to bite you, because they'll just push you around, and it makes things way worse. I care less about fighting the blobs, though, because they don't actually do impact. They just kind of kind of squirt their juice everywhere as unpleasant as that sounds they are they are unpleasant so make you know all right well, I can make this easier on yourself if I just you know grab some of this stuff out cart like that and make it just a little lighter Well, I don't see our boat. Oh. It's probably... Yeah, it got destroyed a long, probably long ago. See, so yeah, we're gonna have to make... We're gonna have to get the stuff to make another fucking boat. That's annoying. Y'all are a pain in the ass. You know that, right? Freaking leeches. Well, I guess that's another little adventure we get to partake in. Thankfully, carves aren't terribly hard to make. It's just I have to get bronze nails, which means I need... Which means I uh, probably... Uh, this is just going to be a pain. Yeah, you definitely... You usually want to park your boat a little farther out than what I did, but I think I was just kind of in a hurry to get onto shore. 
The streamers curse in a hurry all the time. Well. Probably going to end up just. We'll get our boat and we'll just kind of go. We might as well grab that. We're going to probably want it. That was that was some some ore. I think I picked up some from somewhere accidentally. <laughs> I was like, well, I might as well keep it. So we're gonna keep the cart right here. Cause there's no point in me uh, dragging it around anywhere else. Oh, shut up. Grab all the, all these goodies, and then we'll head back through this portal. And we get, we're gonna have to just start working on making another carve. Nice thing though is we can bring the nails and stuff through the portal. What are you doing, you little monster? <laughs> Cronk, crunch. Okay, those are still going. We'll know when those are done when they have the flowers. And they don't yet, so they're fine. Let's offload some of this junk. Was I storing some of these deer trophies somewhere? You know what? Go, they can go right here for now. I, do, I don't care. I just need to offload things. These blood bags, however, are nice. They can go in here for future usage of stuff and things. Stuff and things. What what a concept. Things too? Alright. Well, let's see what I need for the fucking carve and we'll make one. Again. Uh eighty bronze nails. It's like four bronze. I don't know if I have that. Maybe I do. Okay, no, you know what? I'm glad I didn't use bronze for anything, because I need eighty bronze nails. That was gonna be the part that was gonna be the most annoying to get back. So thankfully, I was wise and just didn't fucking do that. Cause so I was originally gonna use this to like upgrade my pick, my bronze pick a little bit more, but then I never did because I never made the upgraded tool station part. And yeah, so thankfully, past me was an idiot to future me's benefit. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's thirty fine wood just gone. So I'm gonna have to get some more of that. And my cart is busy. I could just make another one. But I don't think I really need to if I've got, now that I've got Megging Yord, because that's just a nice amount of, a, amount of additional hauling space. Go away. Jesus. And I'm just gonna try to look around this area here, see if there's any birch trees I haven't bothered. Apparently the answer is yes. There it goes. It's just destroying everything in its path. Yeah, the fine wood's honestly probably the worst part to get at this point. Not impossible, just kind of a little annoying. Like, there are birch trees around. I just gotta actually go get them. 
yeah, we got enough in the area to, to make it work. We're also getting relatively lucky with these birch seeds because the drop rate on them is not high by pr on principle because they want they want it to where you can't just like infinitely farm f fine wood for whatever reason. I don't really understand why, but it's part of the game design, so there's probably a reason. I didn't even see you there, you little stinker. Whereas I did all this, I'm uh, doing all this woodcutter in without the rested buff, so it's just going a little slower because, yeah, I'm not getting the stamina back quite as fast. Granted, I have stamina potions on me, so I could just drink those, but mm. okay, I got I got just enough now. Just enough fine wood now, and then I think we need deer hides, which I think we should have plenty of, but... Oh, come on. Don't make- don't embarrass me on TV, deer. Okay. Wee! <laughs> don't embarrass me more than I embarrass myself. Heard another deer somewhere. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, this game not super, doesn't have like a super high poly count, but like it's just like, it's got ver a very nice aesthetic and just like, just very like mood setting stuff. It's real. I, I love this fucking game. <laughs> game is amazing. Okay. Let's see. Carve. We need 10 deer hides and 20 resin. Okay, we'll grab the deer hides out as well, which that's a, that's a lot of deer hides. A lot of our deer hides being used for this, but yeah, we're not gonna let this one uh, get destroyed like the other one because we're basically gonna be using it like immediately once once we get there. We're gonna like build the damn thing and uh, leave. <laughs> just in, just go, just you know. Mm. Perhaps I should put these in a different spot. Like here, right next to where my other portals are. That makes sense. Okay, and we can now make a car, but we're not doing that at night. That would be suicide. <laughs> we're not we're we're not that interested in ending our lives. Okay, yada yada yada. Rada rada rada. <laughs> Now we've got some birch trees. I think if we find out where we're going to put a new base, we'll probably plant them there. Because that would be a nice amount of extra fine wood that we 
don't otherwise have any who oh, I'm gonna chew on some food and then we're gonna snooze while I'm wet of course I am Okay, I'll double check these. I see a few of them doing. So hopefully by the time we make it home, it'll be, um, they'll be grown and we can pick them and then we plant them in the next stream. We'll just have even more. Uh, excuse me. Do you fucking mind? Little punk ass skeleton. Too hard, huh? There might be a uh, iron chunk somewhere down there, but I'm not really that concerned about it, honestly, at this point. What I'm concerned about is getting all this stuff home. Or at the very least, to our current home. Okay, here's our cart. We need a... I have a feeling this was destroyed because I didn't have a crafting table. A crafting table. A workbench over here stopped things from spawning. Because if I had that, the thing probably would have still been fine. Just sitting over here waiting. But as I got close to this, things would probably spawn in the area and attack the boat. Because, well, they kind of sometimes just do that. Because, of course, they do. All right, we're gonna put the boat out here. Let's try to back up the boat as far as it will allow. That's funny enough, actually, as far as it will allow. Now we could flatten this a little bit more which I probably will, just because it'll make things a little easier to, to deal with. Because the good thing about the carve is that it rides very high on the water. What do you stop pushing my boat, you asshole? It's not your boat. Push your push your own boat. You kind of do. You are a boat. <laughs> Where are you going? Bring that sweet blood bag back here. <laughs> I was gonna say I know you're not gone. You're just a little confused. That's all. Whatever. Let's see if I can get this thing closer now. That, um... Now that I've flattened the terrain a little bit more.
Alright, that's probably about as close as I'm gonna get it, which is fine. That gives me stuff, something to work with. Okay, so... Oh, had, I already had the axe equipped. Let me uh, grab some wood from the nearby area because we're going to need to build a little bit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to uh, destroy the cart when it's in... We're going to destroy the cart when it's a above this and then we're gonna push the little crates that come out of the cart onto the boat and this this does work <laughs> uh, come here just get it over with huh that's an interaction I never, haven't had before that's that's a way you can fight blobs without having uh, poison stuff is if you power attack them or attack them and like run away I mean I don't care because I have poison resist like it's not a big deal yeah the swamp's not a very fun place but anyway we're gonna continue our little shenanigans here. I might be tall enough. It might be, but I want to make sure that we're gonna have have enough clearance for this ridiculous bullshit. So we're gonna do this. Oh, hey, the, hey, the leech is back. Of course, it's back. Now that I'm busy. Oh, you're a different one. Yeah, there you go. There's the that's the leech. I was like, I knew you'd be back, but you brought a friend. Fine by me. Yeah, we're gonna gently move this a little forward. Did I just beach myself? I might have. Thankfully, the carve is an easy boat to push. Kind of. Come on. Kinda going. Yeah, let's kinda go out here where it's a little deeper and we'll flatten from here. Yeah, I think it's probably fine now. Probably. Well, on that note now, we need to, um, do this. We, we'll do half bits here. Because so we're going to very carefully, um, well, part of it's going to be done very carefully, but the other part's going to be a little less careful. Yeah, we need to, uh, get this going. Drag it up, up here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, get up here. I I know it. I know you. I know it's very steep. That might help. It'd be a little less steep. No, oh, 
don't don't fall don't fall don't fall come on oh, god damn it no <laughs> you know what oh shit no <laughs> Of course that happened. Why wouldn't it? Get get out of the fucking water. <coughs> uh, can I even like grab it like this? Like Jesus Christ. You're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why? Why me? And note to self, maybe make the little platform a, just a little wider next time. Might be able to just. <sighs> Jesus Christ, come on. Oh, now I'm floating forever. What a mess. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to destroy this so we can move the damn cart. <sighs> Fuck sake. Come on, get. There you go. Good job, cart. Good job, me. Let's fix both of them. Fuck sakes. Get. Get, get out of the boat. You're not supposed to be in the boat yet. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Anyway, let's, let's, um, no, get out of the water. <laughs> uh, all right. Now it should be out of the water. Punk ass boat. <laughs> punk ass cart, punk ass boat. All right, let's pivot this way and then we'll, we'll back up a little bit. That'd be fine. All right, now. <clears throat> Let's do something like this. And we'll do something like you. And then we'll do this. How much would we have left? Four. We're a little shy on what I wanted to do. This should be, this might be able to get us the wood though. Perfect, just enough. Okay. All right, and then we'll just do that. This is just to make it easier on my myself. <laughs> we might be able to get the cart back home in time to actually do something with the iron, but probably not. All right. Perfect. Okay. It probably would have been smarter to um get it a little higher, but nah. Maybe there's a bush I can break to get just a little bit more wood. That'll work. 
not a bush, but it, it'll, it'll work just fine because I want there to be less of a chance of me messing this up M more than I already have because I already have, as you've as you've seen. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with whatever squishy bastards here, because of course it's here. Yeah, whatever. Die mad about it. <laughs> okay. It's about as the fucking boat got moved because I like did a kick flip off of it. There's a leech under the boat. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the leeches can poison you too whenever they bite you, and their poison's worse than the blobs, so yeah, you don't want to usually have that happen. Really? It's been a minute since I've fought one of them, so I guess it's only fair that they spawn now, but. Yeah, whatever. Let's push this boat. Whoop. Where are you even shooting from? Oh, there you are. Try to get it a little closer. That way we can kill him. Punk ass. Alright, got him. Alright, this is about as good of a shot as we have, so let's just. We're gonna destroy you. Before that, though, we're gonna look. We're gonna fill the entirety of the uh, hold with, um, or at least attempt to fill the entirety of the hold with uh, iron. Like this actually has storage in it. We're gonna fill that with iron, and then the rest of the stuff will just get pushed on. Oh, great! There's just more cargo. Bronze nails, okay, let's see. If there's any iron in this, we want to make sure it's like on the top. In the top there. Like, we're gonna... We'll keep the, the tin in there, because that's also metal. It makes sense to keep that one there, but... That one fell off, so we're gonna just have to... Make do with, uh... Okay, all the metals in that one. And then what you do is you just uh, carefully just kind of push it, push it in the boat. <laughs> we can take those back out. We technically don't need any of the other, okay, is there any other cargoes here? No. Yeah, we technically don't really even need um, this cargo, because the rest of the stuff we can just keep with us. It really doesn't matter. Uh <laughs> That fish is having the time of its life. <laughs> yeah, the, the actual storage of the ship here. It's got iron, and then this has iron, and... Frankly, the rest of the stuff we can take back with us real quick before we sail, because I'm not going to try to sail at night. That's asking for trouble. That's also a good like, advantage of having things like this, is that the little enemies usually can't, like, just do a step up like that. So you can kind of just, like, ignore them. Okay, we are encumbered because we've got a lot of circling cores and just everything. I don't care about these bones. I'd rather stumble out of here with the circling cores. 
They just died right in front of my eyes. our stamina back. Let's eat two while we're at it. Because we kind of needed two anyway. And then we're going to just stumble our way to our little portal here. This is a little risky even with me being having all this stuff set up because all it takes is like one enemy to spawn in the wrong place at the wrong time. And then we just get sm just smack the shit out of us. Yeah. And, you know, just... I don't know why my model... The PNG, not even... I don't know what's going on with it there. It's having some, uh... Having some troubles. We'll just leave those there while we put other crap away. Okay, we got like probably too much probably too much coal. Probably too much of this shit too, cause Yeah, there's just like too much. I don't really know what we're gonna be doing with all these circling cores. I don't know if what something I can do with them specifically. But this coal will be very useful. As is, we've got too much of that, too. <laughs> I guess I can use some of this wood in here and make another chest for coal. So I, could probably, I could probably manage to squeeze another chest in there. In this little cubby hole. Yep, cool. This is all very temporary anyway, so it's... Because we're going to be moving house. Probably next stream, honestly, we'll, we'll focus more moving house. Because just getting the stuff back is its own challenge. <laughs> so we're getting the stuff back here first. Okay, and then we got that we'll put the other stones away and then we'll sleep and then we'll go back and we'll sail the boat back and that will probably be the end of the stream <laughs> god damn it oh wait i have more of this shit well i guess you get to go i guess you get to go in here because i don't care i need to come on stop it stop spawning every five seconds you can't even hit me with a rock Back to Grey Dwarf School. Fucking loser. <laughs> uh. Alright. I heard another one just yelping right now. I just don't care. I don't have time for them. I just don't. <laughs> Now, admittedly, it's a little bit more unsettling when my, like, model is just kind of randomly stopping like that. So it's kind of funny, but that's not how I designed it. So I'm just like, hmm. Well, on the flip side, we'll be able to plant a whole bunch of freaking turnips next stream. Alright, let's let's go sailing. Hopefully the wind cooperates, otherwise it's gonna take even longer to get this shit back. Hmm. 
Yeah, at this point, I'm probably just gonna not even pick up the cores anymore. I don't. I have too many. Like, just go over there. And I think you can kind of use them a little bit like lamps if you put them on like item displays or whatever. Oh, hello. Just trying to punch a fucking leech. What's wrong with me? Blood bags. Today of all the blood. <laughs> okay. Our boat is still here, nice and happy. And cargo's on. Destroy that because we don't need that anymore. There, okay, sure. And now let's we're gonna make sure our boat is fixed up because it took a little bit of damage. And let's use the rudder. And we are going to get the fuck out of here. Or at least try. Attempt will be made. God damn it. No. Get. Are you stuck on the shore there? I think it was. Okay. We are pushing out to sea. Uh, we're... Yeah, I gotta. I have to go around. I have to round around, around this way. I think the wind shifted though, so it might actually be favorable for us going the way we need to go now. It's like a sunken little house. That's kind of cool. Probably not for the house. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have to sail through this way. I don't know how we made this fucking trip. I think we sailed from the, 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 the trader. Almost certainly. So I guess we're gonna see how easy it is to get back here, because I have no idea actually. <coughs> I guess we'll see what lies through here, because I didn't really plan that far ahead actually, although I probably should have. Means that it's nice to be out of the damn swamp for now. Droggers will just chase pigs and stuff, though, which is kind of fucked up, but it's kind of interesting to watch them chase them around. Well, the wind is in our favor, so we should probably sail this way. Allegedly, we should be able to wiggle through here to get to where our base is. But I just don't know what's in this section of the map. Of course the wind would fucking change. 
Let's just turn a little bit more to get a catch a bit more of it. Get our speed up. The game's like, oh, you, you're you're trying to you're trying to get home on a deadline. Don't worry, I got you. And then t flips the wind in the completely wrong direction. <laughs> We are on our way, at least. Freaking the, the the crate is having a panic attack. It looks like it's just wiggling. I suppose we shall see which direction I have to turn now. So I might be able to just sail around this, maybe. Like, sail down this way and go around that way. I don't know how big this island is, though. So it's a risk to go that way. Less of a risk going this way, because it looks like it'd be more of a sure thing. But this would be a more direct route if it's safe. Plus, the wind's blowing that way, so we're going to go that way anyway. That'll, that'll get us a little bit more speed. Alright, it's looking like this should be doable. I should be able to sail around there, here and get back to where, like, this area is. Because I think, that, I think right, right here is where our little uh, bridge is. I would imagine there's probably another kind of like swamp biome somewhere in here, and there's definitely one where bone mass is because it spawns in a swamp. So there's guaranteed to be swamp there. So I think next stream we're gonna work on getting the long ship, and then we're gonna sail it over to where bone mass is. We may or may not fight Bomas next stream. That will determine on. Uh, that will depend on how much I can get out of this iron that we are bringing home now. Cause I at minimum want uh, a pickaxe because we need it for state for the next age in general, and I want a minimum a pickaxe and an iron mace. And then if I can get some armor, that'd be awesome too. I see we're gonna like run right into a rock if we don't kind of change our course a little.
Hmm. Maybe there's a mountain there that I'm not seeing. Yeah, there's just like maybe it's just tall hills. Yep, we're right on course. Well, like I was saying, this will be like the last thing we do with the stream is just getting our boat back to safety. Because then we can just make a cart and drag it drag it up the drag it up the hill back to our base and then we'll be all peachy keen from there. gonna slow down to one so that we can just paddle it's usually not quite as fast as having your sails up but if you're going against the wind that's that's much faster than like if you're going against the wind having the sails up will actually slow you down to like a near crawl so this is uh, much better if we can avoid running into rocks that'd be great We have made the death-defying journey back. Surprisingly. Ugh, of course I'd hit a goddamn rock. I can't just have nice things. I gotta I have to I have to suffer a little bit too. The, cut off the engine. By engine, I mean my arms rowing. We'll cut off the engine. We'll just kind of sail just a little closer. Next year, we'll probably end up destroying this one so we can get the resources to use for the long ship anyway, but. Now let's parallel park our boat. That's about as good as I can fucking hope for, honestly. Grab that. And this is why I have this chest here. Is literally for this, that reason, and that reason alone is... Offloading that. And now I can, um... Next stream I can grab a cart. I could probably... I'll probably end up building this out a little bit more so that we can get around and we'll um, get all the stuff in, take it up there and make stuff out of it. <clears throat> I was going to shoot that bird. Cause I was saying I probably needed to to get some more feathers, but... Let me run uphill and then we'll go back to our base and we'll end the stream there. Got home just in time. Are you serious? Are you are you serious right now? That's what you get. 
I was trying to finish a, set, a statement. <laughs> yeah, we got home just in time. Like, I was like, oh, that'll be the rest of the stream, and it, it sure was. Yeah, next uh, stream we're gonna be setting up like three, fo like three forges, uh, three uh, smelters. Go away, you little monster. I mean, I probably could have set up like a little palisade, like s spiky topped like wood fence around my base, around this building at least. But eh, that's fine. We'll do that probably next. We'll build like a proper like base next hmm I don't know if I want it near oh, ping <laughs> I don't know if I want it that far away from the center of the world but I definitely want it somewhere else <clears throat> I guess we'll see I'll, I'll go explore the area around bow mass and see what it looks like and we can figure that out from there let us sleep just because I like starting off fresh in the mornings. Okay, let's do yo, yo. You're full already. Okay, then blood bags, resin, wood, and last but not least, coal. We'll sleep, we'll wake up, and then I'm in the stream. As my PNG creature of me decides it wants to act funky. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I'm going to remake the... I'm going to probably do some tests after stream just to see if like I have to just remake the uh, thing. Because it's, it's acting weird. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. That's a good spot to end off. Next, next stream we'll pe be picking all those, planting them, and we'll have... Bunches of turnips coming in. But for now, that is where we're going to end off. Let me put the thingy up here. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Thanks, Steam. I don't... Whatever. Might as well restart Steam. I'm not using it right now anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the stream for today. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out. Oh. Saturday stream... Uh, morning, we're going to be starting, well, it's not a new game, even to me at this point, but I'm going to try playing it again for, like, the third time, because, like, it's just something, it's just a game I, I really want to play through, but, um, I, it just kept getting kicked off the list, but I have a spot for it now, and it's going to be a Saturday morning, and it is the Saga 2 remake, I've tried playing it, like, two separate times previously, but yeah, it just kept getting kicked off the schedule but now it's gonna be on the, the Saturday morning slot and then Saturday afternoon we're gonna be playing more RimWorld that's gone down the shitter but we'll see if we can recover from it because last stream was 